Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I got another Timu haul, and this time I spent only $10.83 on the 13 items that you're going to see here today. And if you see anything in this video that you're interested in purchasing, take a look at the links in the description because I'm going to have links to everything that I show you here down there in the description. All right, so these are going to be household items that you can use on an everyday and practical basis. So without further ado, let's take a look at those items. We're going to start things off with this silicone pot strainer that I paid $1.48 for. So you'll use something like this if you're making something like pasta or something like hamburger helper, anything that requires you to drain the liquid out of the pot before you can continue cooking. And so let's say that you got yourself a pot like this, but you don't have a lid for it. Or if you do have a lid, maybe that lid doesn't have a hole or a vent or a spout that you can use to pour liquid out of. That's where this thing comes in. So it's got these two metal clips on either side of it. So all you have to do is just clip this down onto the pot and then you'll be able to lift the pot up and then just pour this out, pour it down the drain, pour it in the garbage can, pour it wherever you're going to pour it. And what's going to happen is the larger food items will get caught in this. They will not be able to pass through, but the liquid can pass through. So this is something that I think will be very useful. I've actually used this with Hamburger Helper, trying to drain out some of that uh, ground beef fat before I continue with the rest of it. And this thing worked just fine. And since the silicone is very flexible, it's easy to clean, and best of all, it is super cheap. And then when it's time to start cleaning everything up, you might want to have yourself some dish towels available. So I got 10 of these. It came in a 10 pack for a dollar and eight cents for 10 of these. That's a crazy good deal. Now they got different colors, but for this case, it got sort of like this light green color on the front and then a gray color on the back. And these are small little kitchen towels and they take on a rectangular shape. Personally, I prefer towels that are square shaped, but hey, what can you do? They're only a dollar and eight cents. But these are something that can really be used to just wipe down countertops real quick, wiping down stovetops really quick. You can put these in the bathroom to wipe down the sink. You can put them in you know, whatever other room that you want. You need to clean your windows, spray some Windex on it, use this. You get 10 of them and you can wash them and you can reuse them as well. Now these aren't the highest quality towels in the world. They're not gonna rip as you're using them, but if you really try to put some muscle into it and just tear it apart, yeah, you can shred it. But if you're just gonna be using it to just wipe down things and not be too rough, especially if you wanna convert these into rags once you've got a lot of use out of them, you could totally do that. And like I said, you get 10 of them. So this is a really good deal to me. And they're also pretty soft as well. So, you know, it's good for your skin. It doesn't feel like you're gonna rip your skin off when you're using this. So they're soft, they're cheap, they're practical, they're useful. You get 10 of them for a little over a dollar. Hey. Darn good deal. One of the cheapest things I got from this Timu haul is this plastic cutting board for 18 cents. Yes, that's it, 18 cents. And no, it's not a high quality cutting board. You can probably already tell it's bent. It came bent and it's super bendable, just like this. But to me, this is not something that you would use in place of a regular full size cutting board that you would use in a house. I think that this is something that has more use if you were, let's say, going on like a picnic or something, you know, and you're going to be cutting little things and you just want it to put those items on something so that you can have a nice firm surface in order to cut something on or Let's say that you go into a hotel and that hotel happens to have a kitchen suite and you want to cut a few things on a cutting board because maybe the hotel doesn't have a cutting board in that kitchen suite. So you just kind of file this away somewhere in your bag. It's super thin. You can easily slide this into a suitcase or easily slide this into a backpack and when you're ready to use it, you just toss it out. Put it down on the surface. Yes, it's wobbly, whatever. Wet yourself a towel, a paper towel, put it under there so it doesn't slide and just cut your little small items. You can wash it off easily and then just slide this bag into a small place so you can carry it with you for the next time that you want to use it. So maybe not something that you use in a kitchen like this, but if you're out and about, you don't want to carry a big full size cutting board because hey, they're big. You want something that's small. This will get the job done and it's 18 cents. I mean, come on, 18 cents. It's super cheap. Why not? 
And then for 28 cents, I got something that I, for some reason, don't have in this house right now. It's a freaking measuring cup. For some reason, I don't have a measuring cup, or at least I can't find it. But on Timu, I found this for 28 cents. Nothing fancy. It's a measuring cup. We've got some measurements here for the Imperials, and then we also have, for everyone else, the metric side of things. So this goes from uh, 200 milliliters all the way up to 1,000 milliliters, or one liter. And then on the other side, we go all the way down to from a half a cup all the way up to four cups or one quart. All right, so if you need some measurements on the fly and you don't have a measuring cup, 28 cents from Timu, if you don't mind waiting about a week or so in order to get it, hey, it's right there for you. Practical, it's useful. So this thing here is a rice bucket with a measuring cup and I paid a dollar and 48 cents for this. Another very practical thing, especially if you eat a lot of rice. But even if you don't eat a lot of rice, you can still get some measurements out of this thing so long as it can fit through this little hole spout on the top. So if you got like, like cereal or something like that, maybe even pet food, you know? You put it inside of this container, and this container also has measurements on the side. They're a little harder to read, but they are there, and um, they go in kilograms. So from a half a kilogram all the way up to two kilograms, but as for your measuring cup here, it goes down from a fourth of a cup up to one full cup. All right, so really, all that you do is secure it just like this, so you basically just pour your stuff into this cup, get the amount that you want, and then take it off, do whatever it is that you're gonna do with it. I like this, you know, it's kinda of like a two-in-one thing. Not only is it something that you could use to just store your dry goods, your rice, your cereal, your kibble, whatever, I really do like the fact that this is incorporated on top of it, just to give you some nice, easy measurements. And once again, it's not a fancy thing, but it's only a dollar and 48 cents. I think that it's totally worth it. You get some good capacity here. And then it's secured to this base with these little clamps here and then also I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this, but it even has like this little gasket right here as well. So it's not just plastic on plastic. You get a little gasket there and that helps you to create a stronger seal just like that, you know? So cheap, practical, useful, especially if you like rice. And since we're talking so much about measurements, I also picked up this magnetized measure equivalence magnet for nine cents. And it's pretty darn good quality. Stick it right here on the refrigerator. As you can see here, it goes as far down as 1 16th of a cup all the way up to one cup. But the magic here is all of the little equivalents. So you can see what the tablespoon equivalent is, what the teaspoon equivalent is, as well as the ounces. And then you also have millimeters on this side. So if you're doing a recipe, it calls for four ounces of something. You're like, well, how much is four ounces of whatever? See that four ounces is a half a cup or eight tablespoons or 24 teaspoons or 118 milliliters for nine cents. Stick it right there on your fridge and then you won't have to worry about asking Google or Amazon Alexa or Siri these questions. If you don't have your phone or any other device around you, just come to the fridge. It's all right there. Next up, I've got an 89 cent collapsible funnel. So this one is in sort of like this lime green color. They also had a few other colors available and it's just a funnel that you can collapse. So we'll just undo it just like this, you know, and you know what you do with it. Stick it inside of a receptacle of some sort when you need precision and you don't want to spill stuff all over the place. Perhaps something for oil whether it's cooking oil or maybe even motor oil. You know, it's a funnel. And when you're done with it, I have funnels, but they're not collapsible. So they just sit in one of these cabinets and you know, they're awkwardly shaped and they take up some space, but this one is small and it's collapsible. So all you gotta do is just, you know, fold it back down into itself, you know, roughly, pretty much like this, and you're done. And it's 89 cent. You can just keep using it over and over and over again in a wide variety of applications, not just for stuff in the kitchen. I think it's totally worth it. 
Here is a microfiber duster. It's an extendable microfiber duster that I paid $1.48 for. And all well, the pictures make it look like it's bigger than what it is. And you can see it's not very big at all. But, you know, you can compare it to my finger. It's almost the full length of my finger. But you can still extend it to be this long. And what I would like to use this for is basically just cleaning blinds. You know, blinds get kind of dusty. You could go there with some type of uh, dust clinging microfiber towel or sheet or something like that. But now I'll just be able to stand back from a distance. I can almost clean the lens of the camera with this thing and just well, waving it back and forth like that. You know, so it's almost like a telescoping selfie stick. Uh, so yeah, I like this thing. It's only a dollar and forty nine cents. Good for cleaning those hard to reach areas that have dust on them. So if not the blinds, perhaps the lights above your dining room table, perhaps a light somewhere on your ceiling, you know, just someplace that you can't reach. It's extendable and it's got a little bit of a wobble to it, but it's, it doesn't feel particularly like crazy flimsy. You know, I think it'll get the job done. I do wish that this were bigger, um, but hey, it's not. So for a dollar and 48 cents, need some quick cleaning done. I think it'll get the job done until the dust starts to settle for the next round of cleaning. For 88 cents, I got this soap pump and sponge caddy. So this is for cleaning, whether it's gonna be in your kitchen or somewhere else, but most likely your kitchen. Got a little bit of an unboxing going on here. So let me show you everything that comes in this box. Very simple. They even give you this little double-sided sponge, you know, so you got the soft side and then you have the slightly harder, more abrasive side. So what you do is you take your dish soap, kind of like this right here, and instead of always reaching for this whenever you want to put a little bit of soap on a sponge or something like that, what you do is just simply put it inside here, then you take this, put this off to the side, then you can take the lid, put it down on top and then using this sponge here you just rest it on top and when you're ready to use it for something you just push down on the lid that pump sends the detergent into the sponge and this is what you're left with you don't have to actually touch this instead just keep the sponge right there in the caddy push it down get it nice and soapy and then you can continue on from there and then when this sponge eventually wears out you can either get yourself another sponge but i am curious about the sponge daddy you can put the sponge daddy in here you know it's already squishy especially when it's when it's warm it gets very very squishy so you can just do the same thing here so it doesn't just work with regular square sponges you know whatever you got that can fit in there pump it down you get yourself some uh, good old dish soap so yeah i think that this thing was totally worth it and i expected it to cost more than 88 cents it's not the most robust awesome looking hardcore device in the world but it's not the point it's cheap it's practical it's useful and it can sit right up here next to the sink well, shoot since i already sort of wasted a little bit of dish soap i might as well wipe down the countertop why not get it nice and soapy. Do you need spoons? Because I've got some spoons. I've got four stainless steel spoons that are shaped like shovels. And I paid 38 cents for a pack of four of these spoons. Now, listen, I've got plenty of spoons. I certainly don't need any more, but the fact that they're shaped like shovels, it was really interesting to me. So that's why I picked these up. And plus they were super, super cheap, less than 40 cents. I mean, what are you going to do? So here's a closer look at the two shapes that you can get. I'm not too sure what the shapes of these shovels are exactly, but here's just a closer look at these spoons so you can see exactly what you'll be getting. And then the end of the spoons, see they have that sort of triangular uh, shape with a little cutout on it. You know, so they're shovel spoons for shoveling food in your mouth. Now you do have to keep your expectations in check because the quality is not all that great. Do not use these to try to scoop ice cream because they are, they're thin. They're thin and they're easily bendable. So only use this for stuff that don't require a lot of pressure. Applesauce, 
cereal, stirring things up, you know, don't try to actually dig in and actually like shovel something with any kind of force because you'll bend the heck out of these. But if you're looking for some different kind of spoons that you can use, you can totally check these out. These are the stainless steel version, but I also believe that there were some gold versions uh, as well over on Timu for around the same price. So 38 cents for four uniquely shaped spoons is good for a gimmick, good for a laugh. I'm all for it. For 58 cents, I got myself a pack of silicone stretch lids in various sizes. Now these are going to be useful for if you have any containers in which you've lost the lids for, in particular circular containers that you've lost the lids for, and you're still using them, like something like this, and you got some food, you wanna cover it up, so that's what these are for. You find the appropriate size for the bowl that you have. I think this one should be okay or we might need to size it up a little bit, but it's stretchy. So you just kind of have to get it in a decent position and then just sort of stretch it across. Might take a little bit of trial and error and some effort, but once you get it on, you can see that it is on there fairly well, serves the purpose of just basically getting a cover onto your containers that otherwise don't have covers. And they also work for like little tiny small containers and little Tupperware dishes or something like that. You see like you get this little tiny one right here, that's the smallest one. And then this is kind of like the uh, fourth or fifth in line. And here is the largest one. They've got these smiley faces on them. You know, whenever I would need to cover up uh, something that I didn't have a lid for, usually just use like aluminum foil and crinkle it along the sides. But you can use something like this. This one right here might be a little bit too big for this particular bowl, but it was easier to put on. And hey, your stuff is covered and I, I guess that's really all that matters, but super cheap. If you wanna get something like this, cover up your bowls you and totally do it. I don't regret it. Although I don't think I'm gonna have much use for like these little tiny ones. A circular ice cube tray. This was only seven cents. That's a pretty darn good deal, I think. So it's just an ice cube tray, except it makes ice in circles instead of cubes. And I filled this up yesterday, so let's take a look at it. It comes with a lid. Let me just pry this off. So it wasn't the perfect ice cube job, but there's no way I'm gonna be trying this again just for this video. But as you can see, here are, well, at least here's one of the ice cube balls. I like little stuff like this because I've been dealing with square ice my whole life. So being able to put circular ice inside of a drink, it just feels fancier to me. And this thing was super, super cheap. And even though it didn't come out as perfect as I would want for them to, most of them did come out pretty darn good. And then the other thing is, on this part of the lid here, you can see that there are holes right here. So I'm thinking, if you have like little toothpicks or something, and maybe you can put like Kool-Aid in this, and then put the little stick through this, then perhaps you'll be able to have like some Kool-Aid pops or you know, just something like that. Something that both kids and adults would enjoy. So you know, it gives you a little bit more versatility than a normal ice cube tray. And even though my refrigerator does have an ice maker, I just like the circular ice cubes because it's something that I really don't experience all that often. So I'm going to enjoy having a drink chilled today with these circle ice cubes, seven cents. The last thing that I wanna show you is this plastic bag holder and I paid a dollar and 49 cents for it. Now this is really useful to me because whenever I go to the store, grocery shopping or wherever I go somewhere where they give you a plastic bag for your stuff, I don't throw those bags away unless they have big holes in them. We store them inside of the pantry and we just put them inside each other and then just put it on the floor. We use those trash bags for waste baskets around the house, well, little small waste baskets in the bathroom and in the bedrooms. But with this, we can take those plastic bags and put it inside of here and then hang this on the back of the pantry door. And then at the bottom, there's a little slit here. So whenever we need a plastic bag, we just pull one out. And then when we get more plastic bags, we just put them right through the top again. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. You don't have to put it in there any kind of special way. Just shove them down in there. And when you pull one out, chances are 
most of the time, you're just gonna be pulling out one at a time. And that's great for me because it frees up space on the floor. We can finally hang something on the back of the pantry door again. And I think this thing is totally worth it. So something that's really useful to me, it's cheap, um, it's fairly strong. You know, I can't rip it apart if I pull as hard as I can, but why would you try to break the stuff that you buy anyway? Just hang this gingerly on the back of the door, put the plastic bags in there and hey, save some space. Now I can find other things that I can throw on the floor of the pantry. So that is it you guys for my $10.83 Timu haul. I got a fair number of things in this haul and I think that I can make good use out of the vast majority of them. But I wanna know down in the comments what you thought about this haul and which item do you think would be most useful to you? To me, it's probably going to be that plastic bag holder because we use plastic bags here all of the time. I'm also going to get some good use out of that pot strainer so that I don't have to worry about trying to take a lid that doesn't have a spout or a hole and just sort of block the food from spilling out as I'm trying to like drain liquid or something like that. I think that'd be really useful. But if you are interested in any of the things that you saw here today, be sure to check the link in the description because I'm going to have links to everything that I showed here and where I got them on Timu so you can easily find them and try them out and purchase them for yourself. And now I think that if you spend like 10 bucks then the shipping is just always going to be free. So that's awesome too. So thank you all so much for watching. You wanna see more stuff like this, especially things that you can get from Timu because I've got some more stuff coming. Be sure to subscribe so you can come back and check out those reviews at a later date. All right, so that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you later.